Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is makeup that I regret buying. So either I bought them and they just didn't work for me or I bought them and they was really bad quality. Just stuff like that. So I'll tell you what was wrong with each one. Um, just a big, big disclaimer. These might work for you but they just don't work for me. So I'm not giving you advice. I'm not telling you like, no I don't get them. They're like, they're totally bad. Like, don't, don't even waste your money. It's just they didn't work for me. So I'm um, just telling you my heads up, but you know, makeup's different on any everyone. Oh, let me get on everyone. Okay, so so let's get started. I'm going to start. I swear I had more, but probably not. Okay, I'll start off with foundation. So the first one that I regret buying is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. So it just looks like that. And why I regret this is not the foundation itself because I actually use this foundation and I think it's awesome like it just goes on so nice it smells nice <laughs> but just the foundation in a stick form is really difficult to apply so normally with foundation like you get a good amount and it can cover most of your face because it's like liquid this is just like cream so for me to get a good coverage of it, I had to literally draw it, draw it on my face. And even with that, like getting my blender and blending it in, it didn't do the job it's meant to do. So I don't know if this would work for anyone else. Um, but yeah, it was just very difficult applying to it and didn't give me that much of a good coverage as it would in the foundation form. So yeah, regret buying this one. The next one is Revlon's Photo Ready BB Cream. Um, nothing is completely wrong with this, only the fact that I got the light to medium, which is the lightest you could get in range, and it was too dark for me, and I'm really pale. Um, I love Revlon's foundation, like, that's what I'm using right now, it's beautiful, it has really good coverage, it is a little bit pricey, um, obviously not compared to anything else, but for a drugstore it's pretty pricey. This is just too, like, lumpy, I guess. Because with, with my with my foundation, I like the like liquidy one. I don't really like the cream, um, just because the supplying it for me is, is different. Like I just can't ah, I take my phone away. Just can't do it as well. So this one, if it was in a lighter shade, maybe I'd like it. And if it if the texture of the product itself wasn't so like lumpy and creamy, it might have actually stayed on and I might have liked it. But yeah. Okay, next is concealer. This is the Maybelline New York Age Rewinding Concealer. So I've got it in a medium and a light because once again, the medium, which is, I don't know which one it was, doesn't matter. This one. The medium was too dark for me and the light was too light. So I had to mix them together. Um, I bought this because Claudia Saluski, the beauty guru here on YouTube, she uses it. She swears by it. And, covers up her dark circles and I was like oh my god like like I listened to her like she has really good advice um, and I have like the worst dark circles in the, the entire world so I need a pretty heavy concealer just to conceal it and I don't know if it was just because I couldn't find one to match my skin but it just didn't cover like I had to use a lot of it and I have used a lot of it as you can see from here because I was just like, oh, maybe I'll, maybe it was just like I'm doing it wrong, so I'll apply it with something else and this and this. And I don't know. I just had great difficulty finding the right colour for my skin. So this one is so good with the little um, applying brush, if you want to call it. I love that technique, how you put it on there and it comes out. You also have to toil it once and you've got enough to cover. But I just wish that they did more than just light, medium and dark. Like I really wish they, you know, got the different shades because I would use this, but yeah, it just didn't work for me in my skin type. Blush. So this is my e.l.f. blush. Um, you have, would have seen it in some videos, I think it was my Boxing Day haul. Um, when I got it, I don't know if you can see here, but it's really light pink. And I was like, oh good, like I need a blush. I open it. And it's, yeah, it's like hot pink. And I'm like, how the hell am I meant to wear this on my face? So I have worn in some videos, as you can tell, because literally my, my cheeks are like hot pink. And I was like, oh my God, it's not working for me. But I kept using it because I needed a blush. 
but yeah I haven't tried any other elf products so I don't know if they are good but I've heard they're good it's just the coloring of this was horrendous I had hot pink cheeks and it was disgusting so do not get the pink passion because it is fluorescent next is Maybelline New York day uh, dream Terra Sun all my products are from like Revlon and Maybelline because that's like all I can afford anyways um, this is a bronzing powder I've had this for years and I don't know why I still have it so I might throw it out after this video but most of these products I've actually kept from this video so um, this is literally orange so with bronzers you know it's meant to have like that orange tone to it but it's meant to be more like brown base this is just completely orange um, so when I first got it, obviously I didn't even know how to use bronzer, so I put it on and I just have these like red and like orange patches all over my face and I'm like, wow, I look hideous. But then I eventually learned how to use it and it's either I still don't know how to apply it or this thing is just really bad. So you apply it and it doesn't blend in properly, so all you have is this like this orange streak like down your cheekbone and it's so difficult to get on your brush as well so like, you can do one stroke and nothing will get on there so you have to like stroke and stroke and get it on and then it's just too much and it, you just can't win with this blush it is so difficult like I don't know if it's the one I got but with powders they're kind of loosely pressed so you can obviously get this this is so pressed on that like you literally have to scrape it off um so yeah but now I've got another bronzer which is awesome but yeah this one would be better for darker toned people but because I'm a pale little shit this does not go with me at all um, next one is Revlon's Colorstay Smoky Shadow Stick this is also very very old as well um, I got this one because of Bethany Motor she used it in one of her videos it looks so good she plied it so easy and I was like well if she can do it then I can do it too so I bought it this the cream side is so good like you know you just put it on and it's cream and it's really also good for like um, instead of a primer like you can use this as a base for your eyeshadow but the brown side here once again don't know if it's my blending technique but it just doesn't blend and I didn't know how Bethany did it I, I don't know if it's just, yeah because I suck or it just was really shit <laughs> so this one this side's really good you just put it on you can easily blend in the cream skin colour one because, you know, it's like matches you. But as soon as you put this brown one on, it just doesn't blend. It just stays there in the corner of your eye, like this big brown patch and you're like, oh, what are you doing? Like, please blend into my eyeball. So yeah, cream eyeshadows is a no-go for me because they're just too difficult to blend and to use. Um, unless they're the cream colour, then I can use them as a base, obviously. But yeah, besides that, this product is really hard to put on it does not blend well um, and yeah second last one is Maybelline's the Coslo volume express mascara probably pronounced that so wrong <laughs> um, first of all I regret this product because I am so used to using waterproof mascara so the nice waxy Kind of hold so when you put it on it's so easy this one isn't waterproof and also the wand on this one is if you can see eh, is a full brush so it's no curve it's just a full normal mascara wand and it is huge and I suck at putting mascara on I don't think there's one person in the world who can put mascara on like every day and not like one day mess it up like it is so difficult to put on so the fact that it has a big wand and it's not waterproof, I would put it on and put it on and I thought it would dry and I'd look up and there'd be like little like lines up here for when my lashes touch my lid because of this damn bloody thing. Um, so maybe if the wand was like the waterproof wand, it was kind of like arched and smaller, I think I would have liked it better. It would have been way easier, oops, easier to apply. But because it's so thick, it's just difficult and you can't get like the bottom lashes or the inner corner without it getting onto your eyeballs. So Maybelline, make your brushes smaller. I have a Revlon one that I use and the brush is literally like that tiny and it is fantastic because you can get into the corners, you can get your bottom lashes and it's just so much easier than using a big wand. So if you guys are really bad at putting on mascara, 
I really do recommend getting either a smaller wand or getting waterproof because waterproof it might smudge but not as bad as normal ones because it's not as liquidy. And last but not least, oh my god, I'm running out of time. Um, I did not buy this, I got given this, but um, yeah, it's just not good. It is the Models Prefer Color Infusion um, Lip and Cheek Gl uh, Gel Tint. <laughs> I think the color says Sugar High, I don't really know. It is the most bright pink, like dark pink color ever. So I'll put some on my finger actually. As a blush, like as a cheek tint, uh, it is it is not good at all. Um, as a lip tint, yeah, it's good, but because it is so liquidy, liquidy, that's the word, it like seeps into your lips. And I don't know if I'm the only one who's had this. I've had lip glosses like that. You put it on and it slowly like sinks in and you can taste it and you're like, ew, this is really gross. This is what it does. Okay, it might be a beautiful colour, but models prefer whatever texture it is, you need to do it better. It needs to be more of like a gel, like um, creamy gel, than just liquid. So if you guys are watching, make sure you do your, do your texture better. The colour is fantastic for your lips, not for your cheeks. Um, but yeah, it needs to be more of like a cream so you can blend it into your cheeks better than liquid. Because I have tried this. And it just not blend. So I'll show you. This is it here. If I can get closer. So that's what it looks like. I put it on my finger. That's how bloody it looks really light, but it is so bloody dark. And I want to put it on my cheeks, but it will not come off. It is so difficult to wash off because it's a tint. So I don't know if I want to, but I'll put it on my hand here. So like, oh yeah. Of course it blends in fine in my hand. But like, imagine if you're pale like me and you're putting this on, it just doesn't blend and you're like got these hot pink cheeks and you're like, shit. But yeah, but if you get like a little bit, I'm sure putting it on your lips will be like fine. So that's my products that I do regret buying makeup product wise. Um, leave comments down below if you guys use these and they work for you. Please tell me because I don't know, they just don't work for me. They don't go with my skin tone or like what like kind of skin I have I don't know but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe please for more of these videos and I hope you guys have a beautiful wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video bye